All right, let's try this again. I just talked for 20 minutes to myself again because I thought I was recording and apparently I wasn't. But anyway, I had a lot of good information on that video and it's, it's lost forever and ever and ever. But I just got back from the 104th commencement of the high school, me and Thomas Dale High School class of 2012. And, uh, yeah, uh, I went there. And, um, a few minutes ago, there was, I, in the last video, I showed everyone, I tried to show people outside my window, and that got erased. But I can still hear them outside my window. They're still conversing and conversating outside my window. And um, <clears throat> there was a lot of people out there. A lot of people out there. And my friend Terrence, La Terrence uh, Lenikata graduated today from Thomasdale High School. So congratulations to you, uh, um, Terrence Cartier. And... Uh, Good luck. Good luck. Good luck with your future. And good luck with your... Uh, whatever you do in the future. And what you plan on doing in the future. Uh, just good luck out there. In the real world. As people say. More on the real world later on in this video. Uh, People weren't too tacky today. They didn't have signs. They didn't have noisemakers. And, um, it was that civilized. That more at a graduation, not at a, not at a, uh, twerk party festival. Um, they act more civilized at, a, at, at their graduation than more the other graduations I've been to before. Um, but congratulations again. Nice, nice, um, nice, uh, orchestra, and a nice, uh, and a nice, um, uh, what's the thing called? Singing, um, the singing one, um, <coughs> what is the singing one called? Uh, orchestra, and then, uh, what is it called? Um, orchestra, uh, band, and um, <sighs> choir. I don't know why that was so hard for me to get out. Choir, nice choir to um, um, Thomasdale um, High School. Um, good choir. I wanted y'all to do a concert. After the actual graduation was over, it sounded so good. Uh, yeah, kudos to the uh, to the to the choir and uh, to the uh, for performing arts. Y'all have a good performing arts uh, thing going on there at Thomasdale High School. So that was good. Um, <laughs> and um, um, I tried to wait around for uh, uh, Terrence after the uh, graduation was over, but there were just so many people out there. I almost got myself transpeded to death trying to find them in that big, long, elongated crowd. It was just people after people after people after people, and they were loud. So you couldn't, you couldn't find them. You couldn't find him even if you tried, even if he had a noisemaker. And, and, and it was dressed in, in neon colors. You still wouldn't be able to find him in that big, big, bold crowd out there. And they were bold. They were tramping you down to get to their graduate. And I almost got trampled to death a few times in that crowd trying to, trying to find my graduate. My, uh, my, my person that came to see. Uh, to graduate, and, 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 they, 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 they bold out there trying to find their graduates, and, uh, and, um, 
I tried to find you, Terrence. I waited around for 20 good minutes, and uh, you were nowhere to be found. So I left and went on back home. And now I'm in my night clothes. But it was a nice graduation. Thanks for the inv invitation. Uh, to, for the invitation. And, uh, yeah. Now life begins, like I said earlier, in my last video that I was talking to myself in. Life really begins now. It really does. It really begins. When I was graduating back in 2010, and the day after graduation, you got your pictures taken. You got your, you got your, your little, your, your, your little checks. Oh, Craig, here is five hundred dollars. Here's three hundred dollars to spend on absolutely nothing. Here's two hundred dollars. Here is a shaving kit. Here is a. Here is some things to use. Here's a gift. Thanks. And you got your little diploma in your hand, and you all grinning and smiling, taking all your pictures and stuff. And then the day after that. Oh, don't forget to out to eat. You go out to eat with your family, and all dinner's on me today. And then the next day, you I was lying in my bed, looking up at the ceiling, and said, "Okay, I just went to I went I just did that. I just graduated and spent almost half my life and all my childhood in school." And got my diploma. Now what? What do I do now? And then I started asking life. Life, are you like the people? Are you are you the way people say you are? Are you a real bitch? Like people try to take you as? Are you are you are you that are you real life? Are you real life? And then life answered back and I was shocked to hear life actually answered me back. I asked life, are you a real bitch? Like people say you are? And then life said, yeah, I am. I am one. And then I said, oh, life, you answered back. And then, and then I kind of finally realized that all your, 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 your teachers and your, your family ain't effing brain. They ain't loco. They ain't sick in mind. They ain't psycho. They got sense. They tell you the truth. Life is a real thing. The real world is a real thing. Life, the real life, starts soon as you get your name read across the stage. As soon as you shake the man's hand and you said, Turn your little tassels to the right, or to the left, or vice versa, whatever. Soon as you turn your little tassel, let's just say it's to the right, whatever. I turn your tassels to the right. Okay, here's life, and then it, it just, it just, it just, life won't there at first, and now it's there. And as soon as they say, I now declare you all graduates of Thomas Day, they don't even get it out. They don't, they don't even they don't life don't even give you give them a chance to even get it out. They don't even let life don't even give you a chance to even get out of that get out of that robe. Get out of that 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 hat clapping gown. And then life is right there, meeting you at your face. And you go ain't no it ain't no escaping. It ain't no escaping from it. So you might as well go ahead and stand up to it like a man and just say, Alright, I'm ready, life. Come get me. But you might not be ready. I won't ready. And I'm gonna tell you, I won't ready. I won't ready. And life, whether you it ain't you whether you ready or not, is coming. It is coming. And it's in life say, Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming like a bitch on rice. And it is there. And it's right there in your face. And it just—it don't even give you a chance. Life is so—it's life is so real. They should give—they should 
bring down a neon sign for every graduate that comes to go walk across the stage. Okay, let's all right, let's just give an example. Abu Abat. All right. Shake your hand. <laughs> neon sign. Life. All right, next graduate. Ellen Allen. <laughs> neon sign comes down. Life. And then they should announce it on the loudspeaker so everyone in the audience can hear it. Life, life for every graduate from A to Z. A big neon sign comes down and then someone announces it on the loudspeaker. Life, cause life has just begun. And you think you've had it rough going through your little elementary years playing the little slides and swings. Whee! Whee! And then going to middle school and dealing with people and stupid ignorant folk that want to talk about you behind your back and best dressed and oh I hope I win prom king that's your biggest worry but after you graduate life come at you like a <laughs> like a like a flying missile you can't escape it. It's just right there. And then soon as you walk off your stage, life just say, Ooh, This fool think he done did something. <laughs> he think life is over. <laughs> but it's funny. Soon as he step foot off this podium, I'm gonna begin full force. And it does. It just comes. <laughs> just begins. Full force, and it's one thing after another, one single thing after a single another thing. It's like, when is it gonna end? When you're dead? When is it gonna end? When you're in the grave? When is it gonna end? When you're six feet under? That's when it's gonna end. So you answer all your questions right then and there, unless you get some kind of break where you don't have to work. And you become a movie star, or a fancy singer, or next pop star, or invent your new gadget, or invent something, or become best friends with Bill Gates. Then it ain't never ever, ain't never ever 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 ever, ain't ever never ever ever never ever ever never going in. It's just gonna be everything, every single last thing, every day. After another, as soon as you wake up in the morning, you might as well say, "Okay, let me see what is it going to be the next. What is it going to be tomorrow? What is this bitch life going to bring to me tomorrow? Because I know it's going to be something. It's going to be something." And then, as soon as you wake up, boom, it hits you. Alarm clocks go off. You got to struggle. You late for work. Yeah, your boss pissed at you because you can't you you can't miss no more time or you don't fire your ass. Or, 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 you can't wear your hair a different color because they don't like that in society. Or, 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 you can't do what you want because, or, you can't dress the way you want to dress because people look down on you. Mm, what the he got on? Mm, I wouldn't wear that. Stupid stuff like that. It's always gonna be something. Everybody always gonna say something about you. Ain't no matter what. You can be the Pope. And you can, and, 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 and steal. Someone will say something about you. I promise you. And 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 it's just, it's just the way it is. Every day you wake up, it's gonna be something. It gon' it gon' be something. It gon' be. It ain't it's not going to be something. It gon' be something. And it's gonna be something every single last day of your life. So you might as well prepare for it now. Get over it. Oh, I gotta get it for work. No, oh, I don't wanna go. I gotta pay the bills. You might as well get used to it. It's just the way it is. I wish it didn't have to be like that. I really do. I really do. If you want a Porsche, you gotta go get Porsche money. If you want Mercedes, you gotta go get Mercedes money. If you want Big Mansion on Hill with Rose Garden in the backyard and pool in the backyard and sunglasses, you gotta go get sunglasses, big pool money. 
That's just the way it is. Okay, I'm sorry, but that's just the way life goes. And the blue wheels on the bus go round and round. So there you go. Life begins soon as they read your name. And they should bring down a big neon sign that's have life going across it in every neon color and have someone on the loudspeaker just say life as loud as they can so you all know what's up you already know what the deal is and they should have a movie that comes out and it just be entitled life and then under under the big title it should have bitch because in some cases I'm not gonna say every day. I'm not gonna say it every day. But in some occasions, more frequent than not, life can be a real humdinger. Life can be a real bitch. Yeah, I said it right here on Craig Adventure Show. And it can be. So you might as well huckle down, buckle up, and batten down the hatchets. Because life is coming at you full force. And I had two years. Dur, 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 year, dur, year. Two, two big ones. One, two, two years. Just deal with this and see it first hand and been through it first hand and I ain't lying to you your mom ain't lying to you life ain't no bullshit it's real deal shit it is real shit it's not no fake wannabe thing made up fiction <laughs> Oh, what is this? What is the deal with this life thing? <laughs> this, is, this is my idea in 10th grade. <laughs> life. Oh, it's just... It's just... Footprints in the sand. Spin on... 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 On, on candy. And, and... And martinis. And... Oh, I'm eating my lollipop. Nom, 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 nom. I can sleep all day long. I can just buy everything because money and billion dollar bills just fall down from the sky. And I don't have to worry about anything ever in my entire life. I can just get Mercedes Benz and, and Escalade and ride back with my sun top down with my glasses on and everything in the world is okay and peachy king it don't work like that honey i wish it did i really do wish it did i'll be the first one to admit i wish we can all just sit on our asses every single last day and, and eat bonbons and drink pina coladas and, and, and eat taco and, 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 and order out and go go sit down at fancy restaurant or go go drive Porsche or little red Corvette with prints on this other side. We wish we can all do that, but we just can't. Life always find a way to snatch it back from you. Every single last time. Every single last time. So I'm just this is just, just just my little just my little speech to the class of 2012. It was my friend Terrence Lenekata and my cousin Sean Damon King and his girlfriend uh, Cindy Brooks. That good accomplishment. You you're approaching and you have done a good accomplishment today. Job well done. Really, job well done. Now, life begins, and it is coming at you like a pile of fucking bricks, and it ain't slowing down, not one iota, I know, cause I've been through it for two years, and listen to your mom, 
Listen to your Papa Joe. Listen to your Aunt Sue. Listen to your 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 Uncle Lou. Listen to all those people, cause they got some sense. They ain't lying to you, people. They ain't lying to you. It's true. This is the real deal. You're in the real world now. And 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 and, and, and ain't going back. You ain't going back. You can't go back. Once you graduate, you graduate. Ain't like you don't say, I don't think I want to graduate today. I, I made a mistake. I, I, I just went uh, to 13 years of school for nothing. I, I, I made a mistake. I, I really don't want to graduate. I want to be here forever with my 12th grade teachers and, 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 and just see the generations go by while I just turn gray. And, 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 and people look at you like you're crazy and think you're some kind of pedophile or something. And and I just wanna I just wanna go back. I just wanna go back. Can I go back please? Here's the diploma. And then I'll say Once you sign prize, it's your keep. Once you take prize, it's your keep. You won't graduate so bad. Now you're here. Now you in real world. Go face it. You can't hide down. It's gonna track you down, Jack. It's gonna track you down, Jack. And it ain't gonna find you. World the real world and the real world is going to find you. It's not going to find you. It going to find you. It's not going to find you. The real world, it going to find you. And that's just the way it is. Now, I think that's something in the show. I think I explained it. I think my uh, graduates have finally figured out that it's real and it's not a lie. And I think y'all gonna figure it out too, like I figured it out, cause I won't ready. I won't ready when I graduated. I thought I had all this figured out. I ain't had not one thing figured out. I couldn't figure out myself, figure nothing out. I, I couldn't figure it, my things out out of a Cheerio box. Now I know just a little bit more. Now I'm trying to explain my little expertise, my two years of experience, to the to the graduates out here. That you gotta get your own. It's hard. I know it is. I know it is. People ain't gonna hold your hand. People ain't gonna help you out. They may. You may find a person to help you out. You may get lucky. Win the lottery. But don't count on it. It's difficult. Plan now. Plan over this little summer now. What am I gonna do now? It's gonna be college. It's gonna be a job. Is it going to be the Marines? Is it going to be the Army? Is it going to be building my new city out of Play-Doh? It's whatever you want to do. It don't matter to me. But you got to do something. You just can't not do nothing. It's just the way it works. And that's just the whole life. That is life. And I figured that out myself. I figured that myself. I had to figure it out. And I'm going to be very quite honest with you all here on the Craig Adventure Show. I have been through living hell these past two years trying to figure out what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. It's not easy. And I'm still trying to figure it out. And I'm still, I, I'm still learning as the years progress. But I have learned a lot from the year 2010 to now. I thought I had it all figured out. I knew what I wanted. I knew what I wanted to do. Life said, no, you don't know. You don't have no idea. And it told me. Really. But thank you all, everyone, for watching this video. And I hope y'all uh, liked it. And take my advice. Or don't take it. Maybe y'all will become successful in life. Say, I'm going to give this one a break. Maybe. I'm not life, so I don't know. So, uh y'all for watching this video and thank you and please subscribe and add me on Facebook and like my show on Facebook Craig Adventures and i um, interview tomorrow and I got a few things from Hot Topic got a, today I went to Hot Topic got got that blue belt over there on my wall and my green belt on the wall I'm gonna glue some things to it and y'all probably see those in upcoming photos of me so uh, thank you all again and congratulations to Terrence Lionel Katia for graduating from high school today and uh, good luck and take my advice.
Apa-apa 